will low academics in my class 12th or class 10th or a poor academic performance in my college cost me the isb admit now that's a question that a lot of working professionals and college students end up asking me and i'll talk about that in today's video so ensure that you watch till the end and let's get started now the question that we're trying to answer here is that not everybody who applies to isb can be an overachiever when it comes to academics which is totally fine not everybody applying to isb can have a 9 cgp in 10th a 95% in 12th and an 8.5 gpa in their undergrad college be it in engineering or commerce or liberal arts or law now in that scenario if you don't have stellar academics or if you have lesser than stellar or let's say bang on average academics like a 6 cgpa a 6.5 gpa a uh, 70% in 12th is it even worth it to apply for isb that's the question that we're trying to answer here now my my broad answer is definitely it's worth it because isb unlike iims never rejects you basis your academics solely they'll not look at you and see that you know sarthak has scored a 65% in class 12th now i don't care what marks he got in gmat or how his profile is i'll reject him straight away now that's something which typically i am follow and i'm not debating if it's right or wrong but that's a methodology used by the i ams for isb isb follows a more holistic evaluation methodology which means that even if you don't have good or if you have lesser than average academics in 10th 12th or college you still have a chance to get through but how can you ensure that you compensate for that average academic record there are two things firstly you can have and you should strive to get a good gmat score when i say a good gmat score the average gmat score for isb is 645 in the gmat focus edition the legacy edition was retired in january 2024 so 645 in the new edition typically translates to 710 in the older edition so if you know that this is the average score of the class at isb but you don't have great academics from 10th or 12th or college then you should try to get a higher than average gmat score which can be a 675 or a higher than that uh, gmat score just to make your candidates are competitive just to compensate for that uh, low academic performance previously that is one avenue which is score very good marks in your gmat the second thing that you can do and you should do is write very compelling stand out essays and try to highlight things unique to you be it in extracurriculars be it in college clubs be it in terms of a productive pastime like swimming or chess or debating or geopolitics whatever that is try to highlight things unique to you in the isb essays because the school is looking to take people who add or who can add diverse perspectives in the classroom be it through your work be it through your internships be it through your extracurriculars or be it through something that you've done in your free time right so two avenues are there to help you out in compensating for the low academic performance previously in your life and if you try to give it your all for the gmat and in parallel build a good profile and write stellar essays you can definitely get an interview call and you can actually convert isb despite having average or poor academics before so please don't self reject yourself that you know i have a 60% in 12th and i had a 5.9 gpa in undergrad now it doesn't make any sense to apply to isb that is not how the school operates that is not how the school evaluates your profiles the school gives you a chance to outshine others be it in academics be it beyond the classroom be it through your work accolades be it through the quality of work be it through you coming from a very diverse background or be it through the gmat so anything and everything as long as it's uh, something stellar beyond academics will help you compensate for that 
low academic record previously so please don't reject yourself please do apply give it your all in the gmat in parallel build a great profile and then write very compelling essays i can assure you that you will get an interview call despite having poor academics i hope this helps you